Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. And today, we're going to learn how to make a more advanced command handler. Now the first time we tried making custom commands was in episode 2, I think now is episode 7 or 8, I think it's 8. But, yeah. This command handler, instead of having like, you know, a for chat event, having the args command and using a switch on the command. Instead, we're going to have a variable here. I'm actually going to export it. It's going to be called all commands. It's just going to be an object. And inside of this object, there's going to be like a name, admin, aliases, and callback. The name is going to be the name of the command. Admin will be whether or not it's an admin only command. Aliases will be, well, aliases, you know, the name could be test, and you can have an alias of whatever, and then both of them would do the same callback. And just like I said, callback is the code to run whenever the command is called for. To make this slightly easier, we're going to use a type here. I just have it called command info. And what this type is, is just declaring what every object should be. It should be a name. So there should be a name, which is a string. Admin, which is un which there may not be an admin. You don't have to have the admin there, just insert there's a question mark. It's a boolean. The aliases, which are also not needed. Just a string array. And then the callback has data, which has player, which is of type player, and arg, which is of type string into void and so to use this type here that I have we're just gonna do export const all commands colon array of command info and so yeah this has to be an array so let's make ourselves just a simple command yeah see this name there the reason this name is considered a property, you know, it's a type string, it's because it's right here. Actually, you know what, let's make this slightly easier to look at. Let's add some comments. So name, name of the command. Admin is whether or not the command is admin only or not. Alias is just aliases for the command. I, I'm not sure how to explain that. And then the callback is code to run when the, when the command is ran. So now if I were to have name here, it has the name of the command right here. Just little descriptions. So the name, I'm just gonna have test. Admin, gonna be true. Alright aliases is just gonna be my command and callback which it's gonna have which is this into that which is valid but let's intake the data parameter and let's run some code let's use this message function I have down here which just sends the player a message using Telra. It's very simple. I just made it beforehand because I don't want to recreate it. So let's message player. Player is going to be data.player, which is the player calling for the command. Message is these are the args. And it's going to be data.args. Dot join. Data arg as you can see is a string array and dot join with a space is just gonna join all the args in the space. Simple as that. And so now let's make the actual command handling part. I'm also gonna go ahead and just export this cons because why not? Anyways. World or events. So we're gonna use before chat. Taking that data. Alright, so a couple things. How do we test that if it's admin or not? If you are an admin or not? Well, if 
you look over here, I have a config file. It's an exported const, which is how I can import from dot dot slash config. I'm gonna add dot js. You don't have to add dot js anymore, it's just good habit. Where it has the command prefix, which I'm just gonna have a question mark, and the admin tag, which is just admin. So if data dot message dot starts with not data but config dot command prefix if you look right here if you were to control click on it in Visual Studio Code it brings you to the command prefix for the mark. Now let's do a little bit of you know, things that do not make sense. Let's do some stuff. Data dot cancel is true, so that way the message does not broadcast out. Const args equals data dot message dot slice not by one actually, it's gonna be by config dot command prefix dot length dot two lowercase dot split slash 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 spec slash s plus slash g this is just a simple reject, reject. and then const command equals arcs dot shift just like in the second episode tutorial same arc same command so now let's do the math const actual no not actual command data equals all commands dot find this one returns the value of the first element in the array where the predicate is true so let's take in command then if we do command dot see all the things inside of command info so let's see if command dot name is the same as command command dot name dot two lowercase actually it's equal to command or I'm gonna murder you or command dot aliases question mark dot includes command. This just tests if the command name is equal to what you wrote or the command aliases includes that command. The reason we put a question mark here is just because question mark here, it may not be there. If you don't put the question mark here and you have a registered command without aliases, then it's going to error. So you want to put the question mark there. Alright. If not command data, look right here. If it is not provided, undefined is used. So if it is undefined, if none of the command names or aliases is equal to this command, then we're just going to return message player data.sender let me actually go to the man thing here I'm just gonna go and copy this color code symbol data.sender c invalid command one comma is what you have comma so, if it's an invalid command it's gonna message them invalid command and the reason we're using return it's just so that way nothing else here happens. Anything past here will not happen if there is no command. I won't murder you. If command data dot admin and data dot sender dot hashtag not oh config dot admin tag should be not. So if the so if it's an admin command and they don't have the config.admin tag, then it's going to return message player, which is data.sender. You don't have per... Let me... You... I can't spell them, so sorry. You don't have permission to do that command now finally 
if there's a command and they have permission for that command, they are going to run the callback in that command. So we do that is we just do command data dot callback. As you see it's yellow meaning it's a method. And it wants it wants this object right here. And so we're gonna input that object. It wants the player, which is of type planner wants args of the string. So the player, which you can see is already autocorrecting, is gonna be the data center just the player running the command and the args are just going to be the args the ones that we have right here all right mm, yeah. it should hypothetically all work if I were to go into the world that we made last time I do slash reload and then I do question mark which is the config.command prefix. Don't question the chat. It's, I, I was testing a lot. So if I do question mark, it's gonna say invalid command. I think I already have the tag of admin, so I should remove admin. So now, if I were to make, yeah, it is an admin command. If I were to try that same command, I never even did a command. I'm so sorry for a lack of IQ points. If I do question mark test, it's gonna say I do not have permission to do that. Because I don't have permission. It is admin and I no longer have the admin tag. So if I add admin, which is the admin tag, test it again. It's erroring. I'm guessing that's just something wrong with message player, so I'm just gonna say you executed the test command slash reload test Oh, it's because I have that right there. Slash reload. There we go. You executed the test command. Alright. Oh yeah, aliases. My command. So if I do question mark my command, it does the exact same thing as the test since it is an alias. You can have as many, many aliases as you want. And any of them will work. So I have to reload. Question mark AD. Question mark whatever that is. All work. Because they're all aliases. Remember you can do anything you want in the callback. Now. Since we have the actual. You know. you know, How we. I'm sorry for my lack of IQ points. They've already said. Since we already have the system set up, let's go to our main over here. And as you can see, we've already imported it, which you gotta remember to do that. Now, let's import all commands from it. Remember, all commands is this const here. Since we can export it, let's import it. The reason we would want to export it is because we can now we can now register commands outside of the file. So now we can do all commands dot push. Push just adds new elements to the array. So if I push this object, look at that, it's showing the same thing. So name is imported since we just imported it admin we can have false i mean if admin's false we don't even need admin we don't need aliases either so i'm just gonna do, go straight to callback data and then console.warn um you imported this command 
slash reload. And then we, oh, we do the imported command. Top scripting warning, you imported this command. Anyways, now let's do something that was highly requested for my last video. Well, not my last video, my second video, which was the first iteration of custom commands. And that is how to use the args. So if I had a console.warn data.args, it shouldn't console warn anything. It's a string array. Since it's an array, we can index it. So let's get the very first argument, which would be zero. Slash reload. And I do the import command again. It's going to be undefined. Now, how to make it defined is by saying anything, really. And then the very first arg is going to be whatever you put. Reason args are super useful is because, let's say you're making, like, I don't know, faction command, team command. You can do team create. And just test if that very first arg is equal to create. And then do whatever you want. If you put another space and add more, it's not going to be in that very first arc. It's still just going to be create. You can have as many args as you want. It's just really, really cool. If the arg is not there, it's going to be undefined. Do note that. If you, so, yeah. That's how you make a slightly more advanced command handler. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And see ya.